It says, The Welsh Black Oppressor um, and the Black Knight of Lancashire, or Lancashire are fierce tyrants, the cruel foes of all white people. At a later date, when the whites were gaining the ascendancy and the blacks were cut up into straggling bands of lurking like the black uh, Moro of Galloway in solitary dens and forest shades out of which they issued by night intent on murder and ra raping, or rap rapine. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Even at this stage of their history, the blacks were the dreaded enemies of the whites. So look, look, this is, this is the history that the man is telling you, man. David McRitchie, look him up. This is some... This is some uh, 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 serious information that he's bringing out, that he's telling you right here. <laughs> this is the spirit, man. When I saw this quote, I was tripping out. I'm like, oh my gosh. But that's that scripture in Job 15 and 6. That an own mouth condemneth thee, not I. So you're going to have Edomites. That's the point. You, you have Edomites telling on each other, man. You have Edomite, Edomite whistleblowers. And that's all prophecy. We know that every, all, all, all of uh, Edomites... Caucasians, you're the devil. But the Spirit of the Most High is put on certain of you to, to whistleblow and tell the truth. That's why uh, uh, in uh, Jeremiah, or uh, Slaki, I believe Isaiah 19, right? It says the Most High has set the Egyptian against the Egyptian, modern day America. You know, you have people, uh, Edomites for Trump, Edomites against Trump, you know, and, and the list goes on. It says, Indeed, it is of this epic and that the popular imagination has most retained the impression. The days of black oppression are so remote that their memory only lives in half forgotten legends. Damn, man. Not, not the time when the black castles were owned by another race. The, all the black castles, all those castles, man, that they, they you see, you know, uh, you can get a book. Maybe online still, because I remember the the PDF was on there. You got to research, man. You got to research for yourself, because you know, uh, uh, as 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 the Apostle Tar said, which a lot of people forgot, is the year of death, destruction, and diligence. Look it up, man. Go research it. Type in Nature Knows No Color Line PDF or Nature Knows No Color Line online free. Type in certain keywords, man. Don't be afraid to type in all kinds of shit online. You know, look it up. When you get to no, Nature Knows No Color Land, that's one of the best books you can find regarding this subject. Other than this book, African Presence in Early Europe. Because that book also goes into the Moors a lot. It goes into the Romans and the Greeks, how you had Israelites and, and, and those civilizations and empires. Um, it goes into uh, the crests, the Moorish family crests of, of France, Poland, <laughs> uh, Britain, Spain, it go, a lot of Hungary, a lot of countries, Germany. You know, Russia, it goes into a lot of a lot of history. All right, it goes into a lot of history. <coughs> it says, um, and their former masters were skulking among woods and caves. So you see, our people got destroyed because they were wicked, man. Our people got destroyed there because they were wicked, right? So what happened was uh, you had the Black Plague, the Pneumonic and Bubonic Plague. Around 1325, 1350, 14th century. So that's when Esau, you know, Esau was already getting cleaned up and we were intermarrying with their women. That's why you have a lot of Israelites. They look like foreigners, man. A lot of Israelites look like foreigners. You know, not just, not just in Sicily, although it's very, very predominant there because watch a movie called uh, The Bronx Tale with uh, Robert De Niro, man. That's a good fucking movie. You know, it, show, it shows you how a lot of Italians, of course, they were prejudiced against Judah. You know, but guess what? A lot of tribes are prejudiced against other tribes, man. You know? A lot of tribes are, are, are prejudiced too. It's just that confusion of faces that, that, that really um, uh, cause, causes, of course, the confusion. <laughs> right? But other than that, a lot of the Italians, man... Uh, um, like, uh, like the scene when the cops came and, and they lined everyone up. A lot, some of the towns were dark as hell. They looked like Simeonites, man. Never mind Ephraimites. They looked like Simeonites, man. You know, they were dark. Right? There's another movie called, uh, oh man, now I forget something romance. 
and 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 the guy tells you he's like you know the Sicilians the Moors invaded Sicily and killed all the men and and took all the white women and had babies with them and generation on generation down um you know they started looking later but but you have black blood in you I think he said you got nigger blood in you guess what that's all across Europe that's all across the world man that's in Australia that's in New Zealand <laughs> that's in Indonesia that's in China that's in North Korea <laughs> Man, it tells you Israel is the sand of the sea, man. Right? Go to the, go to the beach and pick up a handful of sand and, and just count that. Try to count it. You can't. <laughs> um, so it says, um, So vivid was the fear of them and so lasting its impression that children of the 19th century, 1800s now, peering into dark recesses, Timorously or peasant girls seeing suddenly their own image reflected by the candle from the dark window pane or pan uh, shiver all over with a, a apprehension at the vision of the dreaded black man, oh, a mere imaginary bug bear to them, but a real terror to those from whom they inherited the feeling. You see that? Thus we see some of the memories of the blacks of early Britain, ultimately perhaps Inevitably, the original antagonisms began to, uh, to soften and amalgamation of sorts took place. And this is, I guess, a quote again. But the traces of our black ancestry are visibly existent in a hundred surnames. Some of these denote complexion, others do so, but indirectly. See that? Indirectly. The first class includes a great many. There are the clans of Rurari, a Dougal, spelled Dub Gel, or Black Stranger, in their own genealogy. There are all the varieties of dub, which is black, such as duff, dow, macduff, and others. There are dons, cars, and dargs, with their equivalent duns, browns, grays, and blacks. All these are color names showing a black or tawny ancestor. As ancestor, tawny, just another word for dark skin. Um, so also is the name of dub glass, literally black swarthy, and that's and that of muray would with its kindred forms of more and more, which, more, right? Um, other recollections of the blacks may be seen in, in the topography of Britain, for I think it will be found, um, I think it will be found, slack, yeah, that localities are, soft, are, are oftener named after the people who inhabit them, than from any other distinguished distinguishing association. All right, that was really the point. Okay, I hope your brothers are edified. Uh, I'm gonna get one more scripture. This is First Maccabees three and forty eight. And laid and laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. And see that that that's what's happening. Well, that's what happened. Better yet, because what you had was. Um, you know, what is the book of the law? It's the Bible. The whole Bible in its totality. Right? So, these devils, what they did during the Renaissance, again, Renaissance meaning rebirth, right? Or born again, right? And what happened was, these devils painted all the images. And not just the images, man. Just, even, even just telling the stories differently, you know, uh, uh, miswording things, making new Bible versions. That's all of, 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 uh, of uh, painting the likeness of their images. You know, and, 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 and another way they did it was painting over the images of the original families of Europe. All right. So again, I hope you brothers are edified. When I, when I, when I say, halal, la yihau yihau shai. Double honors unto the apostles of great millstone that rule well. And I learned the truth from, and salutations unto you brothers out there, you sincere brothers in the faith. May Yahweh Bashim Yahshai increase your faith. Until next time, Shalom.